I see this all the time, whether it's at an open mic, an improv show, or at the table. When someone tries a joke, a bit, or even a pun, and it doesn't land the way they want it to, it changes them. They feel hurt, confused, they aren't sure of themselves anymore. What do you do then? What do you do amidst the bomb? How do you recover? First, recognize what's going on in your body. This is the feeling of bombing. When, not only does reality not meet your expectations, but reality is at its lowest for you. In the moment, take a deep breath and recognize where you're at. Feel that feeling. Recognize that it didn't land. You won't get anywhere if you're not self-aware, if you ignore that it didn't work. In fact, if you're on stage or at the table, you can call yourself out on it with something like, well, that didn't work. And that can get a laugh, but don't rely on it. Depending on how bad the bomb was, where the crowd's at, it could still be met with silence. And I don't want you to think that calling out your own bad joke is a substitute for having material. But calling yourself out can be a good way to reassure the people around you, including yourself, that you're aware and you're listening. And that is a positive step towards regaining their goodwill. Whether you called yourself out or not, find a way to segue away. Transition that moment into another thread that you can play with. The next bit, the next joke, if you're at the TTRPG table, the next moment, the next scene, so you can move everyone away from that moment. The key is that you're trying to make sure that everyone no longer feels sorry for you. If you're stewing in it, then people feel sympathy. Sympathy is the antithesis of laughter. And if you get sympathy laughs, that hurts more than silence. Realize then that bombing in comedy is supposed to happen. Any comedian out there, trying new jokes, new stories, new bits, they're gonna bomb. Sometimes it's an act that they've honed already and they're already on tour. There's just too many variables for you to control. The people around you, whether it's a crowd or your friends at the game table, may have had a rough night. The comic at the open mic before you may have just crapped the bed. The adventurers at the table may have just had to bury one of their favorite NPCs. Those are just a few possible external situations where an attempt at humor could crash and burn. And of course, if you're not feeling right, whether it's running into an ex an hour before your performance, feeling psyched out by the prospect of playing with one of your comedy or role-playing game idols, or just a rough day at work. Any and all of those elements can mess with your ability to deliver self-awareness, transitioning away, and recognition that it's a fact of humor are the keys to moving away from a failed attempt.